Hey there! So, since I got a smartphone, I've been using it quite a bit. And you can hear about my ethical dilemma with that in a video I posted called Get That Smartphone, even if you don't need it. But, I've been using some apps recently, and before we go any farther, no, this is not a sponsored video. Best Fiends has not asked me to do anything for them. Nobody has. I'm just genuinely sharing some apps that I really like. So The first app that I really love using is GoodRx, which is the yellow one. And this is really important, especially for people who are uninsured. But even for people who have insurance and just have ridiculous co-pays, GoodRx is an app that allows you to find the lowest local prices for your prescriptions. But it's not even just prescriptions, you can use it to find like ibuprofen. So I use an inhaler called QVAR. We're gonna click on find the lowest price and it turns out that the lowest price for QVAR is $216. Now fortunately I have insurance but the most expensive one is $231 so if you went to CVS and bought it there you would have a bad time. Another thing I take is Sumatriptan. There's a Safeway that's 0.9 miles away from me that has it for $13.76, which is fine, but the Rite Aid 2.5 miles away has it for $98. So this app is really helpful if you're trying not to spend ludicrous amounts of money on your medicines. The second app is Countable, which is right here. This is really American centric, but Countable is an easy way to get in contact with your representatives. When you join, if you put in your address and zip code and whatever, it'll hook you up with your representatives automatically. And then you'll see all these issues here, like this one that says, should references to husbands and wives be changed to spouses in federal law? And you can click on it. And I voted yes. And then you can click on the yes or no and then write a comment, and that comment is automatically sent to all of your representatives. It's yay and nay, and it looks like that. This one is, if the debt limit is reached, should the treasury keep borrowing to pay for social security? The final app is One Night. Last night I went to a party with a bunch of my friends from school, and we played this game called One Night Ultimate Werewolf. For anybody who's played the card game Mafia, it's kind of like that, except it's super fast and a little more complicated. The narrator is provided by the app in this case, and there are two groups of people. There are the werewolves, slash sometimes a minion in there too, and the townspeople. Sometimes there's also a tanner, but if you're a townsperson, you want to kill at least one werewolf. If you're a werewolf or a minion, you want to save both werewolves, and that's a terrible explanation, but it's super fast, it's only one night of play. Game timer is set usually for like five minutes, and then there's a bit of discussion. The rounds last at most like 15 minutes. This company has produced like a couple of different games, and this app lets you play all of them. So you can do one night ultimate werewolf, you can have a setting for during the daybreak? which we didn't do, but I guess is when you all are discussing or something. Then you can include the bonus pack. You could do One Night Ultimate Vampire, which is, I guess, another game of theirs. And then you could include second bonus pack. And there's also going to be One Night Ultimate Alien or something? I'm imagining you'll be able to play that off the app. So if you include everything and all of this. You can play with up to 45 people, but I would not recommend that. I'd say you'd want between 4 and 10 people is good, based on my one night of playing it. It's really good. I really love it. I'm gonna buy the game and take it to college. I have the app, which is kind of useless without the game, but this is what it looks like when you have everything clicked. I don't know. It's super great. 
So those are some apps that I like. I hope you can get some use out of at least one of them, and I hope you have a great day.